Nicole with Netbook News here at Computex 2009. I'm here at the Zandros booth with Pat Swosky. How are you today? I'm just fine, thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about Zandros? Uh, Zandros is a company uh, that specializes in software. Right now, we're uh, trying to do as much as we can with Netbooks. Uh, we started uh, a few years ago now with the EPC, the original EPC interface running Linux. And um, now we're, we're exploring new uh, possibilities as well. Well, why don't we get right into it, and why don't you show us what you have on this uh, cute little netbook here? Well, this netbook is an EPC, and it's running the uh, classic EPC uh, UI. You'll notice the the, uh, the tabbed interface that, at this point, uh, is quite everyone should be quite familiar with, I would think. Um, it's it's going to continue to to be used, and it's it's there. Excellent. Now you have some more traditional uh, views over here. Yes. Um, the, the other opinion is that you might have a netbook that just has a, a UI that uh, might be very, very familiar to many users, you know, with a, a color scheme that might be very familiar to many users, and uh, that's, that's another uh, way to go. Now, I'm super excited about this one here. Everyone loves touchscreen. And what do you have on this machine? On this touchscreen device, we're experimenting with, uh, with clutter and what you can actually do uh, with more dynamic interfaces. And uh, so in this particular case, we made a, a little mock-up here of how uh, a launcher could be done so that it's, it's actually touch-enabled and you can actually move stuff around um, and, and things sort of fade in and, you know, er everything is sort of dynamic like that. And so that's, that's what we're trying to do here. Excellent. Now, the one thing that I'm really excited about, because I haven't seen this, Moblin with Exchange. Now, can you talk about what's going on here? I can try. Oh, it's, yes. uh, this is a, a normal Moblin UI. You'll notice this, uh, this page you, is very familiar. It's the Moblin M zone, where you have your, your Twitter feeds, your most use, uh, access documents and such. But what we've added is we've added uh, some PIM capability here. On the left side, you'll see that there's a, a few extra uh, fields in here. And that's because we're actually writing a, a custom uh, PIM application, which uh, uses Exchange Push. Uh, this is what you might see when you first log into it. Uh, so this is actually an exchange server um, running across the world, across the planet, and it's it's uh, getting push uh, push mail push to it. As well, we've uh, gone with the social networking aspect of things. So if you go to something like your contacts list, you'll notice that uh, these people's uh, Twitter and LinkedIn and and Facebook can be monitored as part of the normal PIM thing, because we've always done email and contacts through PIM. Why not extend that and take that a step further? Now, what, what systems are, are you planning on rolling this out on? Is it specific to Moblin, or are you planning on going with some other OSs? Well, this application is written such that we can actually have it run on just about anything. So it, it should run just as well on Windows or Mac OS or wh wherever uh, there's demand for it. Excellent. Well, we all know about uh, Zandro's Presto, so it's really great to see some of the other innovations that you guys are coming out with. Thank you. And this has been Nicole for Netbook News.